Hey guys, welcome to our Minecraft mod tutorials episode 9, I believe. So, yeah, that's a lot of episodes and it's a lot to go. So, uh, yeah, um, so today we're going to be adding um, textures for our blocks, um, which is just like our items, basically the same exact things. Like, literally, if you just dropped your items for your blocks, um, well, in the directory which we're gonna make in a little bit if you just drop the item one there it would actually work for like if uh, our pickaxe our emerald pickaxe if you drop the texture in there it actually worked for a block and put the picture of our emerald on each side of the face of the block so yeah that, that's how simple it is it's just like our items if you do not see okay I'm basing this video off of if you saw my um, my how to make item textures uh, video so if you didn't go watch that or else you will not understand uh, what I am doing because I'm not going to go through explaining because I did it um, actually and the video is 19 minutes long and so I just actually canceled the video because I'm going to go ahead and base the video off of if you watch that other video I'll go ahead and put an annotation on the screen now uh, but go watch that video if you did not watch that video or else you will not know what I'm talking about half the time um, so yes so first things first um, this kind of relates back to the uh, the video I forgot to show you guys another thing in the advanced blocks which will only take a second um, so just for this purpose uh do this oh, oh well actually make sure you're on uh the block you made or any block you made it in general and do um oh we want to go down to where all of our this dot things are and uh, go ahead and go down the line and do this dot set um what was it set resistance and um, by the way the resistant okay so what the resistance is is let's say I uh, have our block um, how about our okay for example this is our sulfur block or block so let's say uh, I have that block sitting in front of me in the game and on the other side of that block is a block of TNT well this is just going to tell me uh, how much like resistance that block is going to have against uh, the TNT or just an explosion in general like a creeper um, so I hope you understand what I mean so like um, like let's say dirt you put dirt and cobblestone together and put a TNT well the dirt's gonna do way worse than the stones gonna do against the TNT uh, so that's what this means so I'm gonna go ahead and set the resistance to 15 point zero F for floats because it is floats and then do a semicolon and press enter and now, uh, what we want to do now is, uh, oh, we forgot to set the stepping sound. So what that means is uh, when you walk on grass, it makes a grassy sound, like you're actually walking on grass, I guess. Well, pixelated grass, but um, yeah, so we got to set the sound. So um, so we want to do this dot, oops, set step sound. And then here we want to do block capital B block not blocks but capital B block and do period and here's a bunch of sound so uh, let's say if we did our lamp for example if we were in our lamp class we do glass so because our lamp is glass and so it'll sound like glass when we walk on it but ours is stone so we want to make it sound like stone well ours isn't stone but it's an ore so end it with a semicolon and that's that's it so now we can actually get to the textures uh, so go ahead and open up paint.net which you should have downloaded already um, if you'd follow the other tutorial um, and sh you should know what all these two tabs do so um, blocks work just like tools uh, there isn't such thing as a multi-faced block for example a furnace is multi-faced as um, all the like for example uh, there's the furnace looking side and then the rest is different that's a multi-sided block uh, another example would be TNT how the top has a fuse and then the sides is TNT and stuff like that um, I can't think of another multi multi textured block. I bet there's a bunch of them in the game. I just can't think of them. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that later. But I'm just gonna focus on a one sided block. So for example, if one sided block is a coal block, a stone block, as meaning each six like there's six sides on a cube. Every single side is the same texture. Um, so this, that's what this tutorial is gonna be facing on. Um, so yeah. Um, so go ahead and. Um, Go to file, new. Uh, go, you have to make it 16 by 16. Um, 
like I stated in, in the other video. Now, Minecraft, I believe for mods, you can go higher, but it still has to be a cube. So you'd have to do 32 by 32, 64 by 64, um, things like that. Um, even 19 by 19, doesn't matter, just the width and the height have to be the exact same. So um, to get rid of this white, just go ahead and go down here on layers, click add new layer, and click on your background layer and delete it. And now we got our uh, blank. So, um, so let me go ahead and show you. So, oops. Okay, so, gosh dang it. Sorry, guys. So, what's happening? <laughs> I'm really confused on what's going on. Uh, man. Let's see. Hold on, guys. This is really weird. It shouldn't have done this for you. It's only doing it to me, so I'll be right back so I can fix it. Okay, for some reason, mine's making me like switch to left-handed people um, doesn't really matter cause I don't use this program that much but that shouldn't even happen to you so it doesn't really matter that was only my own personal thing so um, okay so anyways so let's say we just did this well this image is gonna show up on each side of the block and the rest the sides that are in field are gonna be see-through so the block will be somewhat see-through but we're not gonna do that so um, yeah so uh, you should know by now but uh, you know how Minecraft has different shades, like, uh, like for example, stone isn't just completely gray, it's different shades of gray and stuff like that. Um, and black in the game, if there's anything black, it's not completely black, it's, uh, somewhat, like, there's different shades of black. Well, I don't know if there's different shades of black, but uh, how you change that, so, as we see, we got a full blue square, we go to effects, we go to noise, and we click add noise, and, uh, that's kind of weird, um, and you go into intensity, turn down the chorus, and you see it's pixelating. Um, of course, if you like totally do intensity, it's going to totally change the color, but we're not going to do that. So, uh, and then there's coverage, and it like covers so much of the block. Um, so like, like that kind of looks like a Minecraft right there, like a Minecraft block. But of course, you wouldn't. You'd pick. I I X it out because I'm not going to keep this. But um, yeah, that's how you would create a Minecraft block. Um, but we're going to be making a sulfur ore block or whatever or or I hope you guys made ore in the last tutorial because we really needed an ore. But if you didn't, it doesn't matter. Um, so if you want to like customize blocks that are already in the game, like uh, if you just want to like to make it easier, for example, uh, if you wanted to make a custom ore in our case, um, you could find the ore. A picture and just like change the colors of the actual ore parts, but not the stone part, to make it look like an actual ore in the game. With but it's different and it makes it a lot easier for you. So, you, what, what you'd want to do for that is go to your start menu, which is right here, and do percent sign app data no spaces percent sign. And you'd want to click on the roaming folder and then go dot minecraft versions, uh, your newest version. Um, right click on it and you want to open with WinRAR which you should have if you don't go download it um, and then you want to go to assets minecraft textures uh, in our case blocks and um, so here's all these blocks so like uh, here's the TNT side block and here's the TNT top like I was playing multi textured blocks but we're not doing that uh, I want to find an ore block because I want to make a ore texture. So I'm gonna find the coal ore. Here's the coal ore right here. So what you want to do is just drag and drop this onto your desktop or any uh, Pacific folder or any place you want to do it. Go ahead and exit out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out paint.net because I don't need this. Don't save. And I want to click on. Uh, you want to keep paint.net open. Sorry about that, guys. And click on File, Open, and then find the file. So, Desktop, Cold Ore, and then uh, you can edit this in any way you want. 
So, see, I'm totally changing the face of it. Of course, I don't want to do this because I want to make it look like a sulfur ore. So, um, sulfur is yellow. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but sulfur does look yellowish. So, I'm going to go ahead and use a paintbrush tool also because uh, I don't want to make it look like, for example, I don't want to make it look like this where it's just straight up yellow. Uh, well, that's not very yellow. Well, let me change that. Where it's straight up yellow like this. I want it to look like an actual ore in the game so you see how there's the different textures of black well I'm gonna go and get the paintbrush and I'm just gonna cover over each one of these and you see it looks like sulfur kind of it, like it actually looks like a block in the game so I'm gonna go ahead and do this to each one of these little black squares uh, that indicates coal and change it to sulfur and I'll be back okay and as you see it sorry I hit my mic guys there as you see it I'm done, and that's our finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, and you do that as a file. Uh, you can save as to save in a different location, but I'm gonna go ahead and save over the coal block. I'm gonna press OK. I'm X out of this, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this to sulfur or so over underscore or you, you don't have to do that, but yeah. Uh, now our next step is going to our uh, mod directory. A folder where you stored your mod and click on that and go to source uh, now remember you're not gonna have half these files if you did not follow the item textures tutorial so do that first or else you will not have any of these well you'll have all of these files and this file but you will not have this file um, you, you won't have a lot of these files so yeah so go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this video um, but anyways uh, go into our assets folder YouTube or, or your mod ID um, textures and then um, now where we have our items folder we want to create a new folder and this folder has to be named blocks no capitalizations or anything it has to be spelled exactly this or else the code will not read it so B L O C K S blocks no capitalizations or anything it has to be exactly that um, that's just how the code is I can't change that so yeah and then go into this and drag and drop your picture so there's our sulfur orb and then you can go ahead and exit that now let's go to the code so I hit my mic again and we got to go down and do this dot set block texture name and then do quotation marks and do your mod ID uh, which type in your mod ID which you will find uh, if you go to your ref class uh, if you remember we made in our main package um, if you remember our ref class you can go in there and uh, there's our mod ID right there so YouTube mod or whatever you need your mod ID it's not the mod name but the mod ID so yes uh, so go ahead and type that in mine's YouTube mod do whatever yours is do a colon and then you want to type in um, the exact name of your picture so mine is sulfur underscore or um, and then finish that with a semicolon now um, um, let me explain this this does not have to be sulfur or dot png or jpeg because your file that you sh uh, saved which you should have watched the other video to know this uh, has to be a png file because the code reads png file only or if minecraft does in pacific and so that's why i don't have to put dot png because it only reads png file so it only get the png file so yes um and so yeah and that's it guys so let me go ahead and load the game and show you what it looks like hey guys we're back and uh... here's our sulfur ore block so if we go and place it um, yeah it, it looks like sulfur ore um, if you know what a sulfur is uh, if you don't go ahead and look up a picture of sulfur i guess um, it's used to make things like gunpowder and stuff and that's why i'm actually going to use it because, um, i'm going to show like yeah it, it's a long story but um, you'll understand when i make my next video So if I go in here and get diamond ore, or, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't look as shiny, but um, it looks like an ore, like an ore in the game. Uh, it matches. It. Well, of course, not the colors in the middle, but yeah, you understand. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll be doing more videos this weekend. Uh, I want to post a lot of these because uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting, and I've been, I'm really sorry for that. But school and stuff, and. Uh,
I finally just started pressing my videos because I got sick of the wait time. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.